Aloha friends. So many people are going wild for my protein pancakes. They're basically protein sparing pancakes using the Equip Protein Powder. I'm going to show you how to make chaffles and waffles with them and it's going to blow your mind. I also want to say I think this is a great recipe to have your kids make because it shows them how to measure. They can easily make it all by themselves or you can make an extra batch and have them in the freezer for easy chaffles and waffles for your kids to toast up for a healthy protein packed breakfast. Come check it out. Okay, so to make the chaffles, which if you don't have a chaffle maker, they're like $9 on Amazon. They're super fun. I have a heart shaped one. I have a whole bunch of different ones. But what you're gonna start with is four eggs and you're gonna put four eggs into a large bowl like that and you're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of gelatin. Man, I wish I would've got my hand mixer out. Oh well, one and a half of gelatin. I love the further food gelatin. And then we want one scoop of Equip Prime Protein and use code MARIA15 to save. And you can use any flavor. I'm using peanut butter. Doesn't that sound delicious? Peanut butter, chavels, and then a teaspoon of baking powder, not soda, powder, and then you want to mix that well. And you don't even need a blender for it, or a hand mixer. I'm just doing this with a fork, obviously. <laughs> Maybe I should have used a hand mixer. Okay, don't judge me, <laughs> I got the hand mixer out. <laughs> yeah, that's much different than what if, if you did your, did the fork. Okay, so now we want the chaffle maker and I have some avocado oil spray. You can use a duck fat spray, whatever you want. And then I'm going to spoon some of this in there. You don't want to overfill it, otherwise it'll get too full. And then close that up. And it's going to take about two minutes, if that. Okay, so here we go. It fluffed up a lot. As you can see, it even spilled over, even though I didn't put too much in there. And here you have a cute little waffle chapel. How cute is that? And we're going to repeat. You can refill it, or respray it, I mean but do it all over again, and here we go. I think truffles are just cutest. Everything's cuter as mini. Okay, my friends, I just had a great idea, so I'm gonna get another truffle going, and I'm gonna make some chocolate, like a chocolate glaze to go on these peanut butter waffles. A great idea, right? So let's set this aside while that cooks away. And I have some softened cream cheese in here, and a fork will work for this. You want to loosen the cream cheese, otherwise you're going to get clumps. So loosen that up. And then we are going to add some Equip chocolate. You could use some cocoa, unsweetened cocoa powder and sweetener yourself if you want to. But let's add some of that. And mix that up. And then we'll add some either heavy cream or unsweetened macadamia nut milk to loosen it up. Oh, yeah, this is good. Here's a spatula. Do you have like a favorite spatula? I love this little mini spatula. I don't know where I got it. I'd get another one because I'm always looking for it. Yeah. To make it more chocolatey. If you want to, I'm more of a milk chocolate person, to tell you the truth. I'm gonna add a little stevia glycerite to sweeten it up. And we'll get some heavy cream. Yeah. Perfect. And just know that this 
frosting glaze will get hard if it sits overnight. There's a little bit of this fiber thickener in the prime, so don't worry. If you're gonna eat it later, you might just have to heat it up before you add it, and that will loosen it, so no worries at all. Let's check, we have more chaffle. Yep, another cute little chaffle. Ta-da! Cute, cute, cute. So, I'll put another one in there. We're working on our coaching program. First day to sign up is April 1st for the spring semester. Don't miss that. It's gonna be awesome. We're adding protein sparing modified fast to it. Just check it out. So here are some of the finished chaffles and I'm going to drizzle it with the chocolate glaze. Oh yum, peanut butter and chocolate. So yummy. What kid wouldn't want this for breakfast? Or adult for that matter. And here you have it. Peanut butter chaffles with a chocolate glaze, a milk chocolate glaze. Doesn't that sound delicious? Well, if you like this recipe, please share it with your friends to show them just how delicious healthy eating can be. Let's spread the word and get people off the sugar. Hey Kai, how you doing? Good. I want you to try some chaffles. or peanut butter chaffles with chocolate frosting. I think Bella wants some. Isn't yeah. she so cute? Yeah. She's so cute. Why don't you try and tell people what you think? You said it smells like pancakes. Yeah. And, oh wait. Um, <laughs> there we go. Mm. Mm. Really good? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to just dive right in there. You are awesome. Yeah. What do you want to tell people? Cook with your kids. Mahalo, everybody. Bye, Bella. If you want to change your life like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression, I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, and food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. So if you wanna eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me, and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.